Assalamu alaikum. Good morning to all your six mystery pupils and parents. How are you? I hope all of you are fine. In our lesson today, we will read an article about a prominent figure. Kita akan membaca sebuah rencana tentang seorang tokoh yang terkemuka. You may refer in your textbook page 116. And then we will answer the questions based on the article. Now, read the article carefully. Those who are inside and outside this hall, please make donations to help Tunku Abdul Rahman Putra Al Hajj to go to London for the sake of our people and nation, said Siti Rahmah Kasim at Dewan Hang Tua in Bandar Hilir, Malacca, sometime in 1957. That was one particular moment which the 84-year-old Tatu Siti Rahmah Kasim, an unsung hero, will not forget for the rest of her life. Tunku Abdul Rahman was sourcing for funds to go to London to obtain the country's independence from the British. Siti Rahma was the first person to donate her gold bangle, which was a gift from her father. When she heard about it, she placed her gold bangle in a red shawl and walked around the hall asking for more donations from those present. The men gave away their valuables including rings and gold watches. The women gave away their brooches breastpins, and other valuables. When Tunku came down from the stage to collect the jewelry, tears rolled down his cheeks. Watching the touching moment, the others in the hall cried too, she said. She said the younger generation should be inculcated with the determination and enthusiasm to serve the country. Datuk Siti Rahmah Kasim, who hails from Negeri Sembilan, passed away at the age of 91 at her daughter's house in Kalanajaya on 24 March 2017. Okay, I hope you enjoy your reading. These are the phrases from the text. For our activity today, please draw this table in your writing book and then fill in the blanks with the correct meaning. For this activity, I will give you the meaning and you just write it, okay? Number one, make donations means to contribute. To contribute. Dalam bahasa Malaysia, make donations bermaksud memberi sumbangan. Number two, for the sake of our people and nation, means because of the citizens and the country. Because of the citizens and the country. Dalam bahasa Malaysia, for the sake of our people and nation bermaksud demi bangsa dan negara number three an unsung hero means an unknown champion an unknown champion dalam bahasa malaysia an unsung hero bermaksud wira tidak didendang number four Sourcing for funds means collecting money. Collecting money. Dalam bahasa Malaysia, sourcing for funds bermaksud mencari dana. Mencari dana. Number five. To obtain the country's independence means to claim the freedom of the country. To claim the freedom of the country. Dalam bahasa Malaysia, to obtain the country's independence bermaksud 
untuk mendapatkan kemerdekaan negara. Number 6 Tears rolled down his cheeks means crying crying Dalam bahasa Malaysia tears rolled down his cheeks bermaksud air mata mengalir ke pipi ataupun menangis Number 7 The touching moment means the emotional moment the emotional moment Dalam bahasa Malaysia the touching moment bermaksud detik yang menyentuh perasaan Number 8 inculcated with the determination and enthusiasm means nurtured with the will power and patience Nurtured with the willpower and patience. Dalam bahasa Malaysia, inculcated with the determination and enthusiasm bermaksud inculcated dipupuk. With the dengan determination, keazaman, enthusiasm, kesungguhan. Dipupuk dengan keazaman dan kesungguhan Number 9 Serve the country Means work for the country Work for the country Dalam bahasa Malaysia Serve the country bermaksud berkhidmat untuk negara Number 10 Passed away Means died Died Dalam bahasa Malaysia Passed away bermaksud Meninggal dunia Okay, I hope that you can fill in the blanks With the correct meanings If you cannot catch up what I've said before Please repeat this video Okay, and if you have any question Please ask me Thank you